be free of gun violence for one year, and you and every member of your community can receive a cash award of $1,791. You heard correctly, $1,791 for you and every member of your community. There's no membership fees. It's absolutely free. So accept the challenge right now, achallengetoamerica.com. Help us make America a safer place to live, one community at a time. As a business person, you want to spend your advertising and sponsorship dollars in the most cost-efficient manner possible. At achallengetoamerica.com, we offer you that opportunity. Our quest is to end gun violence in America, and thousands of good people are joining our website every single day. Our members are your potential customers, and we can help you reach them for an affordable cost. Meanwhile, you'll be helping us make America a safer place to live. Find out more and accept the challenge now at achallengetoamerica.com. The movie Left Behind. Don't be. If you've recently seen the movie Left Behind starring Nicolas Cage and are now scared to death that you may be the one that's going to be left behind, listen to this. A YouTube video was designed to melt away those fears. It's titled How to Get to Heaven Guaranteed and explains in detail exactly how you can be sure you're not going to be left behind when the rapture of the church occurs. This video guarantees that no matter how bad you think you are or have been, what your faith is, God has made a way for you to wash yourself clean of every sin and you can enter heaven. This exclusive gift of God will cost you nothing but a few moments of your time. It comes with zero strings attached. Do yourself a favor and watch this after the movie. www.getgodsgift.org or watch the video on YouTube, How to Get to Heaven Guaranteed. Don't be left behind. Welcome to Radio Zenu here on RadioZenu.com. Also, thanks for joining us today here on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Experience. We've got a fantastic show lined up for you. We've got some guests in studio, and um, iHeartRadio is the best place to check us out. Also, Radio Zenu is available on TuneIn. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, producer Fred Fuchs, famous for Godfather 3, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Virgin Suicides, for commissioning the Tudors. That's right. The Requiz, Vikings, and Camelot for major television networks is now working uh, with a company called Maya Media to develop Tesla Man of Light. It's a dramatic science fiction drama for a major network, and they need your help to prove to the people that they want to see a big budget science fiction drama made about the inventor of, among other things, radio. Alternating current, x-rays, lasers, robotics, directed energy weapons, all before the turn of the 20th century. This is quite an amazing project. We think we should help you. And uh, also, you need to go check out and give them some support. So go to kickstarter.com and type in Tesla Man of Light. Check out the campaign page. Back this project. We think you should. Check out kickstarter.com. That's K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-D-E-R.com. Type in Tesla Man of Light, and Tesla is spelled T-E-S-L-A. Man is M-A-N, of is O-F, and Light is L-I-G-H-D. Check it out today on kickstarter.com. Okay, there we go. We've got our sponsor plug out of the way. It's uh, <laughs> it's the world famous Jiggy Jaguar show. And, of course, uh, on Radio Xenu today and our good friends over there at K-Rocks Radio in Casper, Wyoming, iHeart Radio, TuneIn, and uh, Radio Loyalty. And uh, we've got a bunch of fantastic guests in studio. We will get to them here in a few moments. We've got somebody on the telephone. Uh, the telly. The telly. I love that. I, I used to say the horn, and people are like, what's that mean? That's eh, an old term. You don't understand these things. That's right. Now, uh, I think we have Fallon, and I don't believe Jimmy Fallon is on the phone. It's a rapper. Uh, can you hear me, my friend? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salon, who, salon sir. who walked in behind me? Um, so, uh, <laughs> so, Fallon, what's going on, my friend? How are you? Not much, man. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, actually. So, so you've been uh, doing this hip hop thing, this rap thing, for a heck of a long time. Tell us about uh, 
your your hip hop your hip hopness, as they say. Um, you know, um, basically, um, we're we're trying to do you know something different. You know what I mean, like a uh, motivational type of rap. You know, um, it's not necessarily uh, um, on the negative type of vibe. We're trying to um, bring some type, of, you know, the type of uh, music that uh, that can can be different for people that maybe not necessarily uh, like rap, but. Um, they can feel a different way about it once they hear, you know, my type of my type of version of rap, whatever. That's cool. Um, so, so, so you're you're basically a uh, would you say you're a positive rapper? At, at times, I mean, the world's not always positive, so I speak uh, I speak on reality. I'm, I'm more of a reality rapper. You know, I'm I'm not really one of these guys that's sitting around talking about how much money I have and all this type of stuff. You know, I, I really get in, sometimes I really like to get onto a spiritual aspect of stuff. Um, basically, for people that may come from the streets or um, come from poverty type of situations, you know, a lot of people have given up. Yeah. And um, I'm trying to be kind of that voice or really trying to be that voice for those type of people, you know. Um, you know, hip hop in general gets a bad rap because there is a lot of stuff uh, that's out there that that's negative, you know. But yes. we got to remember that there's more sides to everything. It's like in life, you know. Um, it's it's not all bad rap. There's good rap out there, and uh, we're just trying to bring that to the forefront. Wow. Um, you sound like somebody who's who's actually going to make it, not just uh, being a uh, being being a drunk black guy calling in here every Sunday hawking your mixtape. Wow, <laughs> you you, you, well, you actually sound like you have a future. So that's well, awesome. <laughs> Open well, my second not, question. Yeah. What the hell are you doing on this show if you got a future? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no. Hey man, I mean it's an outlet. I appreciate being on the show. Um, it's really hard being an independent artist. Well, so this is the fine, thing. I'm not with anybody. Being an independent artist, uh, it is it is very hard. What have you done to, uh, I guess, to, to help market your stuff and other things that you don't have the big label pushing you and all these things? Well, um, the first thing I did, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing I did was I started submitting music, um, and that's how I ended up signing with Tate Music Group. That's cool. Um, they they've been the label that's well the a company that's been uh distributing my music. I have an album out right now called Survival Scrolls, and uh, uh, like right. I said, it's a it's a spiritual. It's from a spiritual like I guess a street spiritual perspective. You know what I mean? Because I, I mean I'm not perfect. I mean nobody's perfect. You know we're just going through trying to walk through this life and try to make right decisions. And sometimes you know when you're younger and stuff, you make wrong decisions. And you look back when you're older and you're like, well, you know, you know God, God pulled me through that. You know, and uh, yeah. that's that's basically my story, man. I mean, I, I signed with them last year, like I said, and uh, we had a lot of stuff that's online. On a SoundCloud and a uh, Reverb Nation, my um, the group I'm basically with is called Hard Work Players. It's Hard Work Players Inc. Um, it's basically a collective of artists and producers and DJs. Um, I mean, uh, we're, like I said, we're just trying to bring a different perspective and have people know that you know there's rap that's out there. That's more on the traditional sense of things. It's not just about the money and, and women and, you know, all of that stuff. I mean, because life is real. So That's cool. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about I'm Going In. We're going to play that here in a few moments. I'm Going In. I mean, that's, 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 that's a real, it's a motivational song. Uh it basically takes me through a lot of the stuff that I went through as a youngster and um you know I used to play football and I, I learned uh, how to be basically a team player um by being uh, a football player you know and stuff like that I mean uh having faith I mean that's basically what it is I mean I'm going in it's basically like you're going against all the opposition and you're not letting nothing stop you you know um 
you, you're gonna keep the faith and you're gonna keep praying and stuff and you're not gonna let nothing stop you and I'm going in it's just like you're just jumping in like you know uh, it's a, a motivational song okay well we're gonna do this hold the line we're gonna play the song we're gonna, when we come back we'll wrap it up here with Fallon Sins here on the oh, oh, let me, let me, I, oh, the, oh, 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 what's up, what's up, jump in I don't want to be rude, but I got I to gotta straighten out my name Because a lot of people get it mixed up It's Thalon Sinis Thalon Sinis Thalon, yes Here sir. we go yes, That's, I'm going in, and we're back here in a few with Thalon Here in the big broadcast Alright, thank you
Falon Sins back here on the world famous Chiggy Jaguar Experience, coast to coast and boulder to boulder. Yes, sir, I'm here. iHeart Radio, Radio Loyalty, and of course Radio Xenu. Dot com and if uh, you want to watch live video, we're doing all that craziness. Um, I believe the best place to go is just, I guess, JiggyJaguar.net. But uh, that website's got a lot of problems right now. <laughs> we're trying to fix them. <laughs> me, me, and the web guy are having all sorts of problems. But um, WordPress is not our friend. We'll just say that right now. Maybe it's the theme we chose. I don't know. But um, uh, that was that was a fantastic song, man. You 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 uh, put some time and some effort into this. I appreciate it, man. I mean, I, that song actually is not even on the album Survival Squad that's released on tape. But I, I just picked something real quick. You know what I mean? So, so you guys can check it out. You know. Well, uh, how do we find you online? What's the best spot to uh, to find you? Um, you can um, look up my name, obviously, you know, you can Google the name. Uh, you can check out um, www.takemusicgroup.com uh, to find the albums for the Falon Sinis. That's P-H-A-L-L-O-N-S-I-N-N-I-S. And um, let me see, I'm, we're on Reverb Nation. You can look up Hardware Players, INC, um, let me see, SoundCloud. Uh, You're on MySpace yeah, too, from what I can tell. Yeah, well, my yeah, we've had MySpace for a while. Like, man, I need to update that <laughs> while I'm chirping. Yeah. Are you on I Twitter anywhere? That. Are you on the Facebook? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm, I am on Twitter. Absalon Sinus on Twitter. I am on there. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not really a big uh, social media head. I'm really trying to get into that. You know what I mean? And keep yeah. up with all my sites. You know, I also have a Facebook also. On the philosophy, oh, yeah, uh, Facebook. You're on Facebook. We got a uh, that's good hardware players. Uh, John, Johnny Kim might find you on there. there at some point. But um, right. uh, <laughs> Juan, I appreciate you being with us today, and uh, hey, we'll I talk soon, you man. Guys having me. I appreciate it. For Thank real. you much. Have yourself a wonderful day, man. Falon sins with us today. Sinus. 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 Ah. You'll get it. Don't worry. I'm Jiggy Jag, the ugly <laughs> American. But uh, actually, he's American, so it really doesn't count. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, we are going to uh, chat with uh, whoever the hell's on about the telephone. We're back here to view. Transmedia Worldwide. Keeley Kendall Designs. That's KKD. Creates and champions jewelry that makes you want to get up, get dressed, and go out. Hit the town or hang at the beach. KKD Accessories. Are as in tune with your sophisticated side as they are with your favorite casual, cool, laid back looks. Keeley Kendall Designs is all about having fun, being who you are, and feeling gorgeous, cool, funky, and modern. Express yourself in KKD. Check it out today. KeeleyKendall.com. That's K E E L E Y K E N D A L L dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Check out one of our quality marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Vaporator.com. That's the website you're going to need to write down. We'll spell it for you V A P O U R A T O R dot com. The Vaporator. It's an amazing, amazing website from the United Kingdom, VaporReader.com, supplying great quality e-cigarette starter kits and e-liquids to the United States and the rest of the world. You will not be disappointed with our e-cigarette starter kits. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash VaporReader or Twitter.com slash VaporReader. Many thanks to all of you for checking out VaporReader.com. That's V A P. O U R A T O R dot com. It's Vaporator dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. I'm telling you, Walter B. Biondi dot com. Check it out today. It's W A L T E R B B I O N D I dot com. Synopsis from which to prepare. You need to check this out today. 
The promiscuous puppeteer is a multifaceted story about a secret gold exploration company funded by a syndicate comprised of some of the largest mining companies in North America and a CEO who is approached by a Mexican Native American woman whose skills from a sordid and seedy past had the potential to help launch the world's largest gold discovery onto the international stage. Chinese intelligence and embassy officers, U.S. politicians, unscrupulous industry leaders, and a fledgling but growing and menacing Native American mafia are all primary constituents of a compelling and momentous drama that takes place throughout the western part of the United States. It all begins at 5,000 foot high remote desert location called Tonopa, Nevada. It's an amazing book. Check out the publisher and uh, WalterBiondi.com. Find him on Twitter at Twitter.com slash W-A-L-T-B-I-O-N-D-I. An amazing piece of business. Check it out today. In addition, you might want to check out the fact that BWD, number one variety magazine, just selected author Walter B. Biondi and his book, The Promiscuous Puppeteer, as their author book of the month for the October 5th issue. Given this selection is number one out of an average of over 116,000 new books published each month, the author is grateful for, proud of, and honored by BWD's special noteworthy recognition. The Promiscuous Puppeteer by Walter B. Biondi is published by Tate Publishing, LLC. And tell them you heard about it here on Trans Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a Ninja Pillow in their house. Visit NinjaPillow.com, and we'll spell it for you, N-I-N-J-A-P-I-L-L-O-W.com, or search Kickstarter.com for Ninja Pillow, and that's K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R.com. Order your Ninja Pillow today! Pledges start at just a dollar to support, and awesome Ninja Pillow rewards are available. It's Kickstarter.com. Search Ninja Pillow or go to NinjaPillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Oh, we have a fantastic opportunity for you. But before, trying to encourage you to join us, we, we would like to offer you a portion of our product for free. It is yours to use for as long as you want. It can be used absolutely as a standalone program. You will not have any obligation to upgrade. It is yours to use and give away to family and friends. In case of emergency, the APP will connect you with your family at the touch of a button. You can get help when you need it from the most from your circle of family and friends that have agreed to be there for you. They will receive a text message, a voice message, and an email with your exact location within seconds of pressing the button. Here's how to get it. If you have an Android phone, you can download it in Google Play Store or the App Store. The iPhone version will be available soon. The app is called 247 Help Alert. That's right, 247 Help Alert. Please use the referral ID number 1651 when you register the app. We are also seeking marketing directors. Visit us at AmazingMobileServices.info. That's AmazingMobileServices.info. Let's give you the details one more time. If you have an Android phone, you can download it in Google Play Store or the App Store. The iPhone version is going to be available very soon. The app is called 24-7 Help Alert. Please use the referral ID number 1651 when you register the app. We're also seeking marketing directors as well. Visit us at www.amazingmobileservices.info, and we'll spell it for you. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G-M-O-B-I-L-E-S-E-R-B-I-C-E-S dot I-N-F-O. Amazingmobileservices.info. Well, watch right now. Uh. Welcome back to Radio Xenu, RadioZenu.com. Also, check us out on the internet at JiggyJaguar.com and JiggyJaguar.net. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners, 
Well, now you've been spending some money. You bought a new phone, a TV, a laptop, and a guitar. You also bought a vacuum cleaner. Well, and you also bought a power tool. Now you need to protect them. To protect your new phone, TV, laptop, guitar, vacuum cleaner, power tools, or anything with a serial number, you need the My Serial Numbers app. Get it at the Apple Store. Use My Serial Numbers. Enter your product information. Then when you need to apply the warranty or, or something gets stolen, you have everything you need right at your fingertips. The My Serial Numbers app is available at the Apple Store. Ba ba bum. We're going to go to the telephone here in just a few moments. I wish we would have somebody come on Skype so I could say Skype a Rooney, but uh, we're going <laughs> to we're going to go to the telephones here in just a few moments. By the way, if uh, you want to uh, watch our if you missed our first segment with a uh, Falan Sinez? Sinis. Sinis. Like I'm like gonna think get her, Roman Falan I'm going to get it right at some point. You could uh <laughs> you can go over and check out his uh, his Reverb Nation, his YouTube, all the different things. We're going to post all the information over there at JiggyJaguar.net and uh, check it out. We we need to go to the telephones. We've got uh, we've got somebody on the telephone who uh, I I can't wait to to get the reaction uh, for for when I ask the question about dancing, but um, uh, <laughs> go ahead, sir. Give us some. Give us a brief introduction on yourself. What's going on, man? What's up? Who? Give me a brief introduction. Air, right? who, who, who are we speaking to? Who are we speaking, speaking to? Speaking to the one and only Navigator, New England hip hop artist. The Navigator. I love that. That's right. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, man. Um, I mean, you listen to hip hop music. It's basically the same thing over and over again. You know, cars, money, women. It's just not what I do. Um, I actually tell stories with my music. Um, I like to raise awareness on certain things. There's a lot of issues going on in the world, and I'm that type of that's the type of artist I am. I like to paint a picture, a vivid picture, a storyteller. You know what I mean? That's basically my style, right there. That's cool. That's cool. Now, uh, you've been doing music for a heck of a long time. Tell me how you got started doing the music thing, man. Uh, believe it or not, um, your boy Gordy will tell you. Uh, when I was a young boy, I used to dance like Michael Jackson. I'm talking like. By you the age of four years old. Wow! I was doing see, the thriller see, dance up see. and down the neighborhood, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> see, uh, there, there was there uh, was an there was an issue in studio here. Uh, Gordy sort of outed you and said Michael Jackson. I told you, it's, it's, he's, he's absolutely right, man. Okay, hey, I, we're, we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick little behind the curtain thing here. So, tell me, tell me if you can hear Gordy here in just a few seconds. Go. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear him? Yeah. At all? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, little bit more. There you go. Now I can hear him. Yeah, man. This, this he, he outed you on the air and was talking about the here earlier before we got on the air about how oh yeah I used to dance like Michael Jackson. Well, no, that's not what I said. I said <laughs> when, when we were younger, I thought for sure when he grew up he would have been a choreographer because of how much he danced. It was my wife who outed him on Michael Jackson. Stuff. But I'll tell you what, man. This this dude when he was a kid he could nail every single Michael Jackson move there was, and I'm sure he probably still can. I love it, man. I'm gonna, I think it's I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm in up? my 30s, and I still got Michael Jackson Thriller step by step. And I'm not as fast as I was, but step by step, I got you on that Michael Jackson <laughs> song. It'll be on YouTube someday. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Hey, I think I think it's cool that uh, so 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 you started out, you did the dance thing, then you moved into um, doing the hip hop thing. Tell me a little bit about some of the different themes and things that you cover in your hip hop, brother. Okay, well, I mean, as far as Michael Jackson thing, that it, that opened me up to performing. Because, I yeah. mean, if I was performing at four years old in the neighborhood in front of the local guys, that kind of made me comfortable with performing. As far as hip-hop goes, I started listening to Nas, Wu-Tang, you know, the old school hip-hop cool. stuff. That really, That's really cool. That really brought me in, you know what I mean? And the fact that I used to write stories as a kid and, um, you know, stuff like that, I was real creative as far as my mind with the writing of stories. It kind of... I mixed hip hop with the storytelling together, and that's how I came about with you know my whole style. Now, uh, if if we wanted to send somebody, uh, if we wanted to send the listeners to find you somewhere online other than Facebook, so they can hear some of your music and different things. Where would we send them? Would we like Reverb Nation, SoundCloud? 
Um, uh, I have a SoundCloud, yeah. Um, that's mainly where most of my music is right now. SoundCloud.com, search Navigator Hip Hop, you'll get a bunch of tracks, fine. Um, obviously, Facebook, Masio, Navigator Quinones, uh, Twitter, at Navigator Hip Hop. Um, I'm working on a few things. I'm trying to, I got um, a whole other album that I uploaded to that piff.com as well. Now, Navigator, how did you get this name, Navigator? You know, it's funny because uh, when I was a young kid, I used to, you know, when you're young and you're rapping, you think you, you're, you know, the king of, a, of the streets or whatever you want to call it. So I used to call myself Young G, which is as corny as hell. But <laughs> my boy, my boy awesome, Alias, who's a pretty well-known Boston artist out here, he actually gave me Young G, a.k.a. the Rap Navigator. So I kind of just picked the whole thing and just kept Navigator on there. So that's basically what it is. You navigate, you choose your own path, you move forward, whatever the case is. So that's, I just kept Navigator and it just stuck, really. We got, we got a... Um <laughs> I know that that some somebody sent us a tweet, and I'm gonna just see if I can get this going. There, Navigator Hip Hop. Somebody sent me a tweet and said they tried to they tried to go over to SoundCloud like I'm doing right now, and tried to find some of your music, and all they find is a whole bunch of people named Navigator, but they don't find you. <laughs> what is? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know there's a couple Navigators out there. Um, I just. I don't know, man. I know it's Navigator Hip Hop, all together one word. Oh, on, all together on one word. Okay. And you'll get that. Because as soon as I can find it, there we go. I can find it now. I'll just go ahead and just tweet this damn thing. So yeah. If you see the Puerto Rican standing in front of the American the flag, Puerto Rican standing in front of the yeah, American flag. Yeah, I'm just flag. trying to. I'm just trying to fit in any way I can, man. <laughs> I love it. Now, how did you um? Uh, how, how did how did you come up with all the all these cool songs, man? Because I heard some of the music earlier this week, and uh, you you got some really cool stuff, man. Um, thank you, I appreciate that, man. Um, I, like I said, I, I like to tell stories. As you can see, I'm trying to be a clown on the radio, um, but I really like to tell stories. Gordy will tell you. I'll be on the blog telling stories like crazy. But a lot of my music comes from lifetime experiences. Like I don't have time to rap about BS. You're not gonna hear me rap about girls with big butts and all that because number one I'm in my 30s I would, and it's weird I, I, not, not, to, not to catch you off but I, if I was a rapper I would rap about girls and big butts because we're in Kansas well, yeah, I, 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 I you, you I are right about that. that when I get back <laughs> I gotta come like, home to you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I know who butters my butt homie <laughs> you gotta realize Jiggy is where me and him are from um you know, it, it ain't like out here, man. Oh. Um, we, where we grew up, if you if you couldn't fight and and, and scrap and, and knock somebody out pretty fucking quick, you were getting your ass beat. <laughs> you know? This isn't Kuwait. This isn't Kuwait. That's awesome. So, you know, where, where we grew up, man, you you had, you had to be able to handle yourself, and there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, fires every week. You know, people fighting in the middle of the streets. Yeah. You know, uh, we had we've had people in them projects when I was living there shooting at shooting at the projects. Shit, my house was lit on fire when we moved out of there. Wow. You know, I mean, that's a hell of a going away, away kid. Yeah, go away present. Where, where we well, light your house on fire. Where we grew up at. Jeez. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Now, uh, let's do this. We're going to play some of your music off the SoundCloud because for whatever reason, I can't get these MP3s to play. I think it's because of my quintessential player, which is absolute garbage. But, um... Uh, okay, well, what, what song are you trying to play first? Well, what I was... what I was, uh, the, This thing just keeps locking up on me. Is, is there is there a particular song on the SoundCloud page you want people to hear? And we'll, we'll get that going uh, first. Uh, the, uh, I would like to hear the Melanie song first. That's uh, if possible. Um, tell, that'd be great. Tell me a little bit about uh, that song. Well, it's a true story. It's um, on a serious note. This is a childhood friend of mine. Uh, was actually a next door neighbor at one point. Grew up with the family. Um, yeah. It's a mystery that is going on. It's going on its 25th anniversary next week. This girl disappeared. Wow. A 14 year old girl disappeared. She went into the woods to party with some friends. Never came home. The story is yet to be solved. So, um, and uh, you know, I'm kind of cool with the family and all that. Uh, I brought cool. along a very young, talented girl by the name of Maddie Ryan. She sings the hook for me. She's amazing. You're going to be hearing about her in the future, I guarantee you. That's cool. Um, so, this song means a lot, obviously. 
Well, let's do it. It's oh, Navigator. I'm to that. You know what I mean? It's Navigator, it's Melanie, and it's here on Radio Xenu. We're back here in a few moments. 14-year-old Melanie Melanson was the youngest of a dozen kids gathered in these woods that October night. Most of the older teens had been here many times before. It's heartbreaking to feel that she's out there. We know she's out there. And we just want to put her precious little head on a, a little pillow and cover her with a blanket. It's really heartbreaking. This is a story about a girl named Melanie One of the happiest little girls you'll ever see Another unsolved mystery turned legacy A story that forever remains etched in our memory The year was 89 Everything was cool, and Melanie had just finished up with middle school. Coming off from a rough upbringing and a rough beginning, a grandmother took her in and her little brother growing up. All they had was each other, and we were neighbors, so we shared lots of laughs with each other. She was friends with my sister, all the things I remember. Jump roping in the summer, snowballs in the winter, her sleeping over, watching Freddy Krueger play in hide and seek. She and my sister tried to scare me when I tried to sleep. I remember. The radio blasting, hearing them singing and laughing on the block in the summer heat. But then the leaves changed color and it was fall. What happened next forever would change us all. And just a few days before Halloween, she went to hang out in the woods with a group of other teens. And she was only 14, she had a curfew. So when she didn't make it home, there was a search to find out the reason that she disappeared. And why we still have been her after so many years. Huh? And summer ends, they yeah. change color and fall begins. Takes me back to when we left. Never came home, but we kept searching for you. Disappeared. It was sad to see your family dealing with this overwhelming tragedy. Some of your relatives passed away unexpectedly while hanging on the hope that you would just appear magically. It saddens me when I read your brother's statuses. Cause nobody has a story that's as sad as his. Every Halloween he cries himself to sleep knowing somebody knows something but ain't nobody trying to speak. News cameras pulling up, newspapers printing up All the stories about your life inside of it Milk cartons with your face on the side of it But no suspect for the police to go try and get In a town where everybody knows your business Nobody knows how this girl disappeared from existence You telling me that there isn't a single witness To point us in the right direction To tell us who we should question Nobody talking like the case is forbidden So my opinion, she ain't missing, she's being hit it's obvious someone committed a felony Has something to do with the disappearance of Melanie As time goes on and summer ends Leaves change color and fall begins Takes me back to when we left Never came home but we kept searching For you stone till the day comes when we bring you back home yeah dedicated to Melanie Melanson we'll never forget you wow that is a hell of a song we've got uh, Navigator back with us fantastic track my friend yeah, man, it's all real, man. Like I said, I'm a storyteller, and that's the song that really meant a lot to me. I mean, I wrote it a while ago, and I was kind of sitting on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just felt it was right. Well, it's a it's a it's a heck of a track. What's been some of the reaction you've gotten to this? Um, a lot actually. Uh, a lot of her relatives that I haven't spoke to in so long reached out to me, thanking me. I mean, they're yeah. just you know 
you know, they just were going nuts over the song and everything. And, and like I said, I mean, this is a 25-year-old mystery. This is a young girl that's uh -uh. my son's age now, you know what I mean? So it's kind of wow. like, as a parent, you look at it a certain way, you know, you yeah. look at it differently. And um, I just feel like 25-year-old mystery, but without question, I feel like at some point it will be solved. You know, everything comes to light, so um, it's just a matter of time. Well, uh, you, you've got a heck of a story, my friend. I, I love this music. Um, before before we let you go, I want to play one more song, and I want to get your thoughts on this. But uh, I tell you, I would love to see if sometime we could get you out here to Kansas to do a show, because uh, the kind of music that that you've got, people need to hear out here, man. Because there's there's too many of these, and I'm just and and what you said earlier, I'm just going to start referring to them as 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 girls and big butt rappers. Uh, <laughs> I'm just that's, that's all that's all we've got out here is, yeah, is it's, yeah, that, those kind of guys mean, well those midwestern girls I mean they do have big butts and all well, this respect, you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I, I'm down to go to camp. first of all my Boston Red Sox won the World Series last year so I'm pulling for the Royals right now so I would like to get out that there I know that you guys are in Missouri Royals. but you're close enough you know what I'm saying so <laughs> Definitely, I like to get out there. I need a vacation anyway. My job is killing me. So God, why I'm down. <laughs> come, come to Kansas on vacation? What? Well, <laughs> There's a whole lot of to do. It. It's it's perfect. Perfect. Which, by the way, by the way, I got caught in a tornado in Massachusetts. I have no lie, no lie. So, you, so, uh, what? yeah, it's definitely a dark cloud. <laughs> There's over a tornado in Massachusetts. It was a tornado back in August in Revere, Massachusetts, and your boy was definitely caught up in it. And I was like, "There's no, like, seriously." I was waiting to wake up, but nope, it was real. I got caught up in it. I run that fast in ten years. I'll tell you. <laughs> you. You had to run into a school. Is that what was going on? I ran into yeah. I ran into a school. That, that's not true. Listen, you guys are used to it, and it's probably like this is probably like just some wind for you guys. But when I see a tree coming down, I was, listen, I was taught, I'm Puerto Rican, that's not normal to see trees coming flying at you, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we have to you know, we got low riders and all that stuff flying at us. We don't, once you start seeing trees getting thrown at you, you gotta run, dude. If it doesn't cow, look normal, run. Cow. Yeah. I don't think that's the same cow. <laughs> Well, uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play one more off of the uh, off the SoundCloud page. What, what, what do you want us to uh, What do you want us to play here, my friend? Um, I would like to be. I would like for y'all, if you can, to play the song Tears. That's another one that I, it's a storyteller one. Uh, okay. That was based on the the rise in overdoses that have been popping off. It's crazy. I think it's over two hundred in Massachusetts in the last three or four months. I don't know the exact number, but Good heroin overdoses, overdoses are out of control. Um, a lot of my old classmates, relatives, and stuff like that have succumbed to this. I have a close friend that's going on a year that passed away. Another close friend two years Why ago. Why is heroin such a big deal in Massachusetts? It's like it is out of control out here. Wow. It is crazy. So, um, the way I wrote this song, I, I didn't want to do a pain over drugs <laughs> campaign, something that your health teacher is going to tell you. Um, I wrote it in a first person perspective as a parent watching their kid overdose that's and cool. the whole breakdown of it. So, I mean, I wanted to paint a graphic picture to kind of send a message and raise, raise awareness to the problem at hand. You know what yes. I mean? So it's another one of those um, storyteller tracks. And then you start this track with actual statistics from the TV, right, or something like that. That's cool. You, you, that, that, that is really cool, man. That you start this, uh, you start this track with actual, actual stats. Actual facts, man. That's awesome. Well, we're gonna do this. It's Tears, Navigator Hip Hop. Here on the world numbers, though, in Massachusetts, CJ and when you think about that, why the, why the spike? Why the sudden danger? Is it new types of heroin? I think, no, not necessarily. I think what's happening is we're just seeing a, a rise in the amount of people that are getting hooked on prescription opiates, and then they move to they heroin. They make that switch. We're seeing younger and younger people from all walks of life coming in as uh, addicted to opiates. Heroin can get you after one use. It can kill you. I had it all. And then I looked in your eyes and I watched it all crash over again. And oh, take a look at the tears that I shed. Well,
What makes you think I wouldn't notice? You always locking your doors, you listen to Calvin Brodus. Chilling in a room full of Cypress Hill posters, clothes smelling like smoke, eyes are out of focus, and they're bloodshot. Pissed off looking at your mugshot. You got caught up when the police raided a drug spot. Dropped out of school, had me looking like a fool. Teacher said you had potential if you utilize a tool. You're too busy being cool. Had your mom crying tears, now she's drowning in the pool. Looking at pictures of you as a youngster, so innocent. Opening up your Christmas gifts, now I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Your girl left you, cause she got a future She's going to college so she can't be straddled with a loser Total burnout, it hurts to see the way you turned out I shed tears, living out a parent's worst fear Yeah Now you snorting coke and I hear you smoking crack Hanging with the homeless folks underneath the overpass Heard you knocking on the door but we didn't listen Cause last time you came home there was some money missing Tried to put you in rehab but you wasn't budging Told us to mind our own business and stop judging You lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of teeth in the process Your body's failing you so every time you eat you get nauseous And now you popping bikes and perks, whatever works Saying that you only take them when your body hurts I heard you owe money and some people looking for you When you fucked your homies over now they Starting to ignore you when it's sad Your ex-girls now a college grad While you bounce from house to house With your clothes and garbage bags Been months since you called your mom and dad And we fear the worst type of news A parent yeah. should ever hear It's almost like a sign of like Why did you have to, you know Why did you have to Now I'm standing in front of your grave Wishing that I could go back It's your life I would've saved Instead of turning away All I did was look away When you needed to get high Just to get you through the day Now you're gone I should've seen it coming all along Should've stopped you back When it was just smoking from a bong Cause it turned to a pipe Then it turned to a needle Then it turned to you shaking As you laying in the fetal Popping pills non-stop Scratching uncontrollably Ignoring your calls When you would try to get a hold of me I couldn't come to terms With my son being a junkie I ignore the same problem That's been poisoning in the country, damn Now I'm sitting here crying tears Cause your life ended just after a few years I encourage all parents to never ignore signs Keep your kid's name out of the Daily Times <laughs> well, uh, this you you are a heck of a storyteller, my friend. I will have to say. Uh, Thank you, sir, man. Appreciate it, Navigator. You are the man. How do we how do we find you? Uh, uh, you're 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 on Twitter, Facebook, all these places. I know you're on Facebook. Yeah, you know, you, you, see, you probably see my rants because I'm a diehard <laughs> sports fan and I just go nuts with every game. But, yeah, um, you got me on that Facebook, Mafia on Navigator Quinones, um, Twitter, at Navigator Hip Hop. Same thing with SoundCloud, Navigator Hip Hop. Yeah, uh, that's pretty I much where you get all my stuff. One other thing out here for you. Um, okay. Any, yeah. Anytime you want to talk about WWE and, and stuff like that, because I know you're big on it. Oh, Jesus. If you, you want to get, like, cross-country talking, you, you know. Okay, you so, so, so you're, you're a wrestling fan, Navigator. Uh, you know what? I actually went to, I actually went to like one of those ninety-minute trials at the Killer Kowalski School. And oh I had Jesus! Throw my, I had to throw my dream away because I've never been so sore. You know what we're gonna do some sometime? I'm gonna book yeah, you. I, I I'm gonna book that. you on a Sunday for hour one. And we're gonna talk WWE, and then I'm gonna book uh, our, our, our our little Latin perv magnet over there on the couch <laughs> uh, in the uh, in the in the second hour. And we're gonna we're gonna talk Lucha Mexican Libre. wrestling and lucha libre, and then I'll have Kevin Chris go. sitting where Diane is. And his head will just explode. <laughs> so uh, the, the the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I will be in touch with you on that. We, we are we are thinking of bringing back. And oh God, I don't know why I want to do this, but we're thinking of bringing back um, our weekly wrestling talk show that we used to do on KJGradio.com, where we talked professional wrestling. 
and uh, we would have guests on. We ended up having on Terry Funk, Shane Douglas, Rhino, Matt Hardy. Um, God, who else did we have on there? Uh, we had one episode where Chris was talking crap on a local wrestler by the name of Kenny Zombie Jones, and Kenny was listening to it on his mobile phone and just showed up. Uh, that that was that was quite an interesting uh, deal. Uh, but, uh, but if 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 we if we do bring that back, I will uh, I will have you back on my. I'm going to have you back on to begin with. But the wrestling thing, uh, there's all sorts of things we can have you on to talk about music, wrestling, all sorts of things. So. That's yeah, awesome. well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was a big wrestling fan growing up. I still watch it. It's a man soap opera. Don't tell me it's fake. I understand that. It's entertaining <laughs> to me. That's it. <laughs> Don't tell me it's fake. I understand that. Man, but to well, get back on a serious note, though, we've yes. we got to try to get him out here. Somehow. Yes, I, I, I would love to have you come out here at some stage of the game and play, man. I think that would be fantastic. Absolutely. I am absolutely down as long as, as, long long as you guys right. can accept a 6'3". It's really rare you see a 6'3 Puerto Rican, but I am 6'3 and I am Puerto Rican. 6'3 so Puerto Rican. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, with those stats, you're going to have all sorts of little white chicks out here just trying to climb that tree. But, but you're going to have to explain that you're not Mexican, you're Puerto Rican, because yes. they won't understand. Yes, yeah, well, they, they won't understand. Exactly. And uh, you, you, you'll get all sorts of lines, like you're a tiger in the water and I'm thirsty. There'll be all sorts of yeah. dumb things that will be thrown at you. So uh, you, 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 you could be like the Puerto Rican Caligula out here, uh, if, yeah. if, if given enough time. But uh, Navigator, thank you, sir, and I will be in touch. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate Everyone it, involved, thank you. It was a blast. Definitely, man. We'll talk soon. Have yourself a good day, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here. When we come back, we got more. I'll tell you, personal appointments with David Adelson is a fantastic marketing partner. It's it's a it, it, if you can afford an appointment, buy a DVD. Check out davidadelson.com for more information. Let's spell it for you: D A V I D A D E L S O N dot com. The social media is available: facebook.com slash spiritual divine gifts. You can also find him on Twitter at gifts from devotion, and that's gifts from a D V O T N. LinkedIn as well. Search Gifts from Devotion. And Google Plus. Find them on Google Plus as well. Here's some testimonials. Amazing stuff. Great broadcast, David. Instructive, helpful, uplifting, healing. Thank you, JS from Massachusetts. He's helping people in Wisconsin as well. Thank you, David. It was helping and healing, says TZ. David is an amazing, amazing individual. Thank you so much. David, your session was such a blessing to me. I'm feeling so much released from my financial woes. Thanks for the techniques and knowledge you have given me concerning money and to let go and focus on my desires. I feel so blessed. Divine Mother directed my to my website yesterday evening to receive this blessing, which truly touched me and lifted my desperation. Again, thank you. That's M.M. from Florida. Iowa checks in. North Carolina. Amazing stuff. Gifts from devotion dot com. David Adelson is helping people worldwide, and you need to check it out. David Adelson dot com. That's D A V I D A D E L S O N dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Are you interested in starting a home based business? Now, if I could show you how to generate twenty five hundred bucks every week from home. By simply advertising a phone number without ever having to sell, convince, or explain anything to anyone. Plus, receive professional team leaders to call and close all your prospects for you. Would it be worth three minutes of your time? Our system is 100% guaranteed to earn you an income or we pay you $1,000 in cash. Call 760-263-6008 right now for our $2,500 per week system. That's 760 263 6008. 
if you or someone you know is a gearhead, fisherman, or you're just in need of something so unique, others will not be able to describe it. You have to go to wrenchware.com now. When you head to wrenchware.com, you're going to find distinctive table and glassware, along with jewelry and more. Only at wrenchware.com will you find silverware themed for the mechanic or outdoorsman in your life. Plus, for a limited time, orders over $25 receive free shipping only at wrenchware.com. W-R-E-N-C-H-W-A-R-E dot com. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, a simple idea to empower kids. Based on the power of love, choice, and belief by Kathleen Boucher, it's a fantastic read. Simple idea to power kids is written for eight kids and young. That's right, ages eight and younger to help them have more confidence and to believe in themselves. It teaches the law of attraction so that even a young child can understand. It is meant to be read to and by kids at home, at school, in Sunday school to disabled children in hospitals, in shelters, and to the very poor. The illustrations are colorful, and the text is uplifting. The beauty of this book is it's fast to read, and yet everyone will feel like they've done a wonderful job by doing so. It's unique because it uses the power of love, choice, and belief to teach the law of attraction. This book has won two awards, Silver Recognition Award from Mom's Choice Awards, and it's going to be featured in the Holiday Magazine in the 2014 Preferred Choice Awards from Creative Child's Awards will be featured in their Holiday Magazine as well. Check it out on Amazon.com or Amazon.ca. A simple idea to empower kids based on the love and choice and belief. Oh, good Lord, it's an amazing book. Check out Amazon.com. Search for A Simple Idea to Empower Kids Based on the Power of Love, Choice, and Belief. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. William 9859 You need to check it out today. It is free wireless service with unlimited calling. Texting and data by referring three friends. That's right. I can't stress this enough. Free wireless service with unlimited calling, texting, and data by referring not one, not two, but three friends. It's an amazing website. William 985946.lightyearwireless.com. It's an amazing piece of business. Check it out today. It's William 985946.lightyearwireless.com. You need to check this out because it's free wireless service with unlimited calling, texting, and data by referring just three friends. It's amazing stuff. Use your Windows 8 phone or the Lightyear Wireless. I'll tell you, just amazing stuff. Unlimited. Unlimited. You want some free service? Refer a few friends and get some service. Bring your own phone to Lightyear Wireless and get two months service. Also, bring your dot own device. That's right. LG Optimus Elite. Brand new. Every Lightyear Wireless customer gets this. Amazing stuff. You want some free service? Refer a few friends and you'll get Lightyear Wireless service free. That's three friends. Lightyear Wireless Service. Bring your own qualified device. No contracts, no commitments. Nationwide superior coverage starting at $20 a month. Lightyear Wireless Service. Bring your own qualified device. That's right. No contracts, no commitments. Nationwide superior coverage starting at $49.95 a month. Tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. That's William 985946.lightyearwireless.com. And we'll spell it for you. W I L L I A M. The number nine, the number eight, the number five, the number nine, the number four, the number six. Dot L I G H T Y E A R W I R E L E S S. Dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Welcome back to Radio Xenu. It's RadioZenu.com. Also, 50-plus stations across the U.S. and Canada with the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Network. Check out JiggyJaguar.net today for more information. We've got a fantastic marketing partner that we want to tell you about right now, Daniel H. Lance. Fantastic guy. He's a great author. He's got a rare shining jewel of a book, Silence and Darkness by Daniel H. Lance. is available 
It contains treasures for everyone, from dashing knights and damsels in distress to macabre Dartnick's extraordinary romance and classic Shakespearean comedy. The author cleverly takes the reader on a dangerous and emotionally strained, but reveling in the gothic inspiration from a wide variety of authors, including Stephen King, Edgar Allan Poe, and Shakespeare, Daniel H. Lance has carefully crafted a superb dark collection of poetry that is available in either Kindle or paperback formats. From Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Check out his Facebook page for further details, including the audiobook release date. That's Silence of Darkness by Daniel H. Lance, a great marketing partner here on Radio Zenu in the world famous Shiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast. And uh, we've got some great guests in studio. And uh, before we get to them, well, actually, we're. we're, we're, we're how do we want to do this? We 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 have got um, we've got Gordy in studio. Fantastic. Yeah. He's he's walking again. Thank you. Yay! Uh, we have his uh, lovely significant other there on the uh, uh, on the, the the whatever the hell that is. The it's recliner. a it's a chair. It's a chair recliner. Uh, on my ass. A comfy chair. And then and then we've got uh, <laughs> then, then we've got uh, Emma over there with her uh, with her Brett Favre jersey. He's oh, my hero. He's your hero? He's the hero. What? Yes. Oh. He set impeccable standards is for many gonna, NFL gonna, players. Is he going to text you uh, dick pics? Is that what's going on? No, 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 no. But you just tell me. <laughs> you get that kind of shit emailed, not texted. Come on now. I don't even know how that works, but honestly. Uh, I don't even know how that works. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm what? Brett Favre? He's an impeccable guy. He set a high standard for Peck- NFL players everywhere. Guy. He's an impeccable guy. He's an impeccable guy. Impeccable. The way that just came across in my headphones, it sounded like you said pedophile players everywhere. No, not by far. <laughs> That's what I heard because Wasn't that on the, on the Dallas Cowboys team? <laughs> that they had some problems there? Oh, no, that was the rapist. Same difference. Yeah. Well, that happens. And but then, and then we've got, as as I called it earlier, our Latin perv magnet over there. You've got a soccer jer- you've got a soccer jersey on today. Yeah. She's got football and she's got I football. Like What's I wrong like with that? Like <laughs> we went sporty. The I last time we was on here, Dig was telling us that like he never has anything to do with sports on here, so we thought we would just bring that. Yeah. Now here's your sports. I'm sorry, I don't like very much football. I like soccer. And. Uh, this is the I Bayern like Munich, that. which I was know. champion of the of the league last season, and I hope be champion again this time. Adrian, Yay. Say soccer, we'll soccer. No, don't. Soccer. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> She's used to me. Believe me. That's awesome. <laughs> We've not known you very long, well, have we? <laughs> soccer. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 can literally do that. We, we we need to get it like I I need to have somebody record that clip and we'll just no. play soccer every time we're on. <laughs> yeah, baby. No, you just need to like you know, you know, instead of like what would Jesus do, it would be how would Adriana say it. There you go. And that that way you just have a whole segment. I'm not gonna talk again. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes us. Now, who, who do we have sitting next to uh, Adriana? It 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 looks like. Uh, a guy who who is like Bob Seger's roadie or something. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. He's a uh, rock star. <laughs> no, this is Mr. Bill Rice. He's a great friend of ours. Hey, hello. Uh, yeah, I met these two gals um, to my benefit, and they've been great Aww. friends to me for uh, since uh, about 2009. That's cool. So uh, tell us a little bit about your career, because I've been hearing all sorts of things about how you, you're just this, this mega huge rock star. I wouldn't and, uh, say that. I'd say <laughs> that. Big superstar, <laughs> and uh, yeah. all the ladies love you, and you, you, you've got like, a What's own, not to love? You've got your own fan club with decoder rings and membership cards <laughs> and everything. No, i got this thing called, <laughs> it's called the Facebook or something like that. Oh, the it's Facebook. Like, you can get, get all your friends and you friend them and stuff, and then you can post pictures of cats and, and uh, <laughs> hey, that's awesome we we we, we, we love cats, cats here you the evil <laughs> <laughs> we love cats so uh so so tell us a little little bit about your your background well i grew up in langdon which is and you know used to hang out in hutch 
Pioneer Land. Pioneer Land. Pioneer Land. <laughs> and every Friday night, the thing to do in Hutch was drag Maine. And so this is about 1979 or 80. So we. Uh, <laughs> Where did you drag it? <laughs> Back drag, when you could. Drag it up and down. I mean, there yeah. was all sorts of cool hot rods, GTOs, and Chevelles, and. Corvettes. That was the hot thing to Jeez, do around it here. Was, it was a gas. And now it's one weekend called the Rod Run. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But he's a great guitar. Well, no, actually, they used to have, like, remember, Bill, the old pillar, concrete pillars set up with benches, and who didn't have the car would sit over and cheer on all the cars as they were driving by, and then they'd rev it up, and, oh, yeah, this was, you know, there's not a whole lot to do in the you know, I don't have, have, <laughs> have a drag race scheduled. She's going to race my Toyota uh, Solera against her. Volvo. 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 And I, I'm going to be the smart one back with the video camera, putting it on Facebook later to show all their friends with a little bit of a clip of a kitty. Yes, yes, with a little bit of a clip of a kitty. That's right. <laughs> Gotta have some kitten action. <laughs> So uh, let's see. I, I know that there there were some instruments that were brought in. Who brought instruments? Everybody. Everybody's got Everybody's an got an instrument. Wow. I it should I should get out my recorder. People would disagree that, that Emma and I have an instrument, but just because ours is internal and physical, it doesn't make it any less of an instrument. Thank it's you. still technically an instrument. <laughs> I believe Webster's would refer to it as an I instrument. Believe, and I believe Google, Google would. She's only handy if, if, man dude, if Google does it. I mean, if you Google that stuff, man, you're going to find it. Instrument vocals. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Long the same as Diva the singer. <laughs> And as Jim Gillette would say, you know, if we blow a string, we just can't go to, to Kmart and pick up a new vocal box. That's right. Gotta we got to be careful, careful. With those. You're done. Don't mess up those chords. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they get all tangled. It's like Christmas. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't go to the store. I'm going to what do you there. got over there, so baby? Somehow <laughs> last night I figured out how to do a, a harmonized voice with just one voice. Yeah, he, he, he was like, oh, I think I figured out that throat singing stuff that they do in Australia. Have you ever heard that stuff? No, not yet. Dude. I'm a little behind oh, yeah. the times, obviously. When you wake up in the morning, you've got a lot of phlegm in there. That makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to do Is that that kind of sound? Last night, Duh. I was doing my regular It's called overtone singing. Morning. Just on Google o overtone singing, book. Jiggy. It's crazy. All at one time. All, All at one time. time. I was doing it last night. Oh, like, come on. Now, you can't I talk up something like that and not be able to produce. <laughs> the best <laughs> thing has no idea how to produce. Because they meant possession. Overtone <laughs> <singing>. possession. <laughs> Demoniac <laughs> possession. Let's <laughs> see here. Overtone singing. Demoniac. Singing. It's like a Pontiac. That girl is second video down. El Christi. She, she does it going yes. through different scales and everything. Stephen King's awesome. Yes. Let's see. That Overtone top, right? singing. Let's try this. Anna Marie, and of course there's an ad, so I'll yes. just... Polyphonic... Overtone. And this is out of Australia? They do it there. I, I think it's like everywhere, but the <laughs> majority of the people you see practicing it and teaching it are in Australia. Do what you hear. I'm really, really, really behind on these guys. It's nothing that would be really applicable in like a, a song singing voice. It's kind of just cool noises that you uh -huh. can make with your voice. Just a personal thing. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Isn't that crazy? What is the name of this stuff? Polyphonic overtone singing. <laughs> that out there for like the horror movies and see you know that'd be great opening themes <laughs> you know but there's one point in this video it's closer towards the end where so she's I doing like a, a straight note but then she's got the a whole scale, scale going down or I choose an overtune and, and she goes all the way down the scale all the way scale. back up it that is crazy. Polyphonic. I'll have to do a little research on that. Oh, it's just too much. It's too much. 
let's see. I wonder if we could get Sean's story, aka Twinkie, to learn how to do overtones. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm eventually going to work on what my vocal coach does, and that's shattering glass just with your voice. That would be awesome. It would be. Jamie Yeah, you, you can, you, yeah. <laughs> and then you, you guys got to get into Vendera Vocal Academy. Oh, it's so, uh, dude. The dude's awesome. <laughs> it's all it is. Mythbusters and everything, breaking glasses with his voice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> just his voice, no amplification. Well, Craziness. do it with amplification. Yeah, well, at first, but then he did it, like, by himself, and it was the first time ever it had been done. Well, uh, let's see. Let's, I, I, I think we need to have a song. After yes! Overtone what thing. Is that? Thing. No. Who, who, no who, overtone who? songs. No, 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 no okay. not, not, not an overtone that, song. Oh. Uh, who, who wants to, who wants to be a combination of, do, do we want to have, like, the, the, Strange and I, I'm gonna always call you guys Life Tribe, but do do it though, it's then, I'm not night group do something or the Emma Lou group do something, or are we gonna like mix and match and trade with our friends, or, or how, how, are we, how are we gonna do that? I have no idea. How I don't know. I think it. we should let Strange and I go ahead and just lead the way there. You have a, you have a cable that you're stepping on that would give you more space. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you keep pulling on your cable. Like, I can't, I can't. You keep pulling on your cable. Aren't they just adorable to keep on? Every <laughs> once in a while, she'll, she'll like, do like a, a loosely Andrew Dice Clay impression when she okay, goes, you are pulling on your cable. Uh, oh, oh, there I am. There, there it's a, it's a funky court. It's wonky. Yes. No, what happens is once in a while I forget to pay attention to my speaking and I flip back into a Massachusetts accent. I think that's awesome. It is. It's adorable. <laughs> I was, so, so Amy said we're going first. Is that what happened? I, I was so concerned with your cable. I have no idea what you're saying. Eeny, meeny, miny, no. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do one of yours first then? No. <sighs> no? What I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. That's what makes us all so fun. <laughs> That's right. Uh, do down and out? Or, okay, you don't tell me that you don't know what we're doing and then look at me like, oh, no, not that one. It, like, if you want. But that's not what your face said. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's do that. Aren't <laughs> they cute? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how it starts? Uh, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Just tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> tell me what I'm doing. Here. Mm, a little bit louder on you. There we go. And now, now we've got some sound. I got so frustrated, baby You're never there when I come And if it wasn't for your loving I wouldn't bother you at all Can't count on you on my fingers Can't count on you on my toes I'm looking for you, but you're not around And that's the way it goes but when you tried it was so right That's how it's been all along But when I'm down And I know You're gone When I'm down And I know You're gone We used to live in a big house I used to drive a new car when I had a lot of money You never strayed very far But now the bank is empty And we're living day by day You pumped the well until it was dry Now you don't want to stay But when it's right, we're so right That's how it's been all along but when I'm down, and I'm out, you're gone. When I'm down, and I'm out, you're gone. 
When I'm down and I'm out, you're gone. Sitting with a spotlight Searching for you in the dark All this separation, baby You're staring me apart Can't count on you on my fingers No, I can't count on you on my toes And I'm looking for you But you're not around And well, that's the way it goes but when it's right, we're so right That's how it's been all along When I'm down and I'm out, you're gone When I'm down and I'm out, you're gone When I'm down and out, you're gone Wow! Made it through. Fantastic. I remember all the lyrics. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys uh, explained. It. I don't think we ever have. We ever maybe maybe we covered this, and I'm just an idiot and forgot. Or as I say, I'm half Jamaican, half idiot. Not really half Jamaican, just whole idiot. <laughs> um, why did you have to change? From Life Tribe to Strange Night. What the hell because was going on? Because after almost two years, okay, now when we <laughs> when we were thinking about a band name, we sit there and we're like, oh, try this one, and we Google. And if something comes up, we're like, nope, move on, move on. Well, we had done that. And then, you know, two years later, for some reason, we stuck it back in Google and found out that there was a Christian rock band or a gospel band out of New York with the name. And they had a really cool logo with the cross in between the life and the tribe. And they had been together for six years, so it was kind of like, ah. Yeah, they beat us. <laughs> so They had the logo established and everything. Yeah. Like well, I mean, we had a logo established and everything, too, but they had had it longer than we did. Right. So we were like, ah, crap. So then it was back to the drawing board, and it takes us like two weeks of Googling to pick a band name. Because you could pick any two, like, any two words and yeah. put them together, and there's already a band with that name. Oh, it's sure. crazy. There's a lot of bands out there. Yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> but you're, you're, like, you're like, oh, I don't know, how about Psychotropic Pink? And pff, there's a band. All right, how about um, Bruised Neon? Oh, there's a band. Uh, how about, uh, I don't know, My Butt Hurts? That's a band. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. Well, there, there was there was one time, uh, who was it? Oh, I think it was my buddy Robert McKayla was, uh, and uh, and uh, I think you know this guy, Sir Jeeves, First Night of the Empire. Oh yes. Uh, they 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 were hoping that they could start a band called Man Jelly. Oh, it's probably and already taken. It's already taken. Damn it. What and, about then they, and then they and then they and then they wanted me to interview <laughs> taken. Man Jelly, and they never have gotten back to me, and that's really disappointed both of those two for whatever it, reason. Did they try Man Flower? Man Flower. That might that might <laughs> be, be a good one. Yeah. Well, Jeeves, Jeeves is trying to take over the world right now. So he really is. Him yeah. and his him and his back pillow. <laughs> 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 that's about all that's going on there. Well, How long ago did you guys write that song you just did? Oh, that was one of the ones we wrote. How long have we known you? Yeah, right? <laughs> How long have we known I've you? Two, like two years ago? Well, we've known each other longer than that, I think. Four years ago. Well, has it been that freaking long? Really? Oh, my God. I got some new ones here that I, I wrote just like over the past couple yeah, months. Yeah, Gordy, Gordy took an online Berkeley class with Mr. Pat Patterson, who is the best songwriting teacher ever, ever, ever in a day. He's good. So he spent like the whole eight weeks of the chorus writing songs. So Gordy's get all kinds of songs. Got all sorts the of things going on. One I'm probably gonna go here in, in a bit is she likes it rough. Wow. Yeah. I, I think that's the yeah. 
But like, it's not about Diane, though. <laughs> it could be. You got to leave the mystique. <laughs> what the hell? You just ruined it. <laughs> you done ruined it for me now. I don't want to even know. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that one. Yeah, you done I ruined it. I love that. I could be the chick that likes it rough. Well, that that that'll that'll make all of our uh, all of our European perv listeners that are into <laughs> dominatrix and all that. That sounds crap. like a perv magnet song. <laughs> I I don't know I, 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 or a perv creator song perv creator, perv creator song <laughs> that's awesome. I may do that one. I may do evil too. I'm not sure. Well, while you decide, we have to hear Miss <laughs> Emma. <laughs> while you decide, that's awesome. I want I want to hear some some that's jamming. Our turn, I guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You might want to get the instruments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have ours. That's the beauty. It just follows us everywhere. <laughs> it just follows us everywhere. I've often wondered why, why people don't think that vocalists have instruments. Cause because it's not... I don't know why. I was can't buy it at a music store? That, exactly. <laughs> that basically... I mean, I was going to say, you know, it's not something that you can learn to play, but that's completely not true. You definitely have to learn. Yeah. Le- learn technique and how to sing properly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Well, like, when, when we're booking a club, he's like, oh, well, how many how many in the band? And he's like, um, we're a four-piece plus a vocalist. And I'm like, no, we're a freaking five-piece. And he's like, no, we're a four-piece. We are a five-piece band, yes, but we're a four-piece <laughs> He's like, well, they need to know how big a stage and what we have to plug in. That's why I say that. And I'm like, no, it's because I'm not really an instrumentalist. (laughs) How dare they leave you out? I know. That's right. Get credit where credit is due. How dare they? We're a five-piece band, but we need room for a four-piece band. Yeah. See, I just have it easy. And we're an acoustic guys. show. That's, well, that's really how that goes. <laughs> that just kind of sums yeah. it up and leaves nobody in. Your band? Nobody out. How many in your band? Um, what band? We're acoustic. That's right. <laughs> I say men are drama. We just do acoustic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Mr. Bill over here. Yay. By the way, Bill, I think you have just a moment that you can talk and a little and bit. And it's, and it's Mr. Bill, not 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 the guy from Saturday. Well, he has Saturday. many many names: <laughs> <laughs> Colin Kingston, <laughs> Rolls Royce, Wild Bill. Whatever. But I want him to talk a little bit about what he's up to in the Kansas City area. Oh, I was gonna he say, has yeah, a little band up there. Got a little, the, got a little band up. How there. many do you have in that? There's three. Include the vocalists. There's three in that up there. Okay. <laughs> Brand new since February. Got a little gal singer. It's called Kitten Witch. Mm-hmm. It actually, it's called the Order of Kitten Witch Blues Coalition and Puppet Show. Wow. And I Googled How's that. How's that fit on a business card? I Googled that, <laughs> and nobody else has that name. That's awesome. I was going <laughs> to say. And Puppet Show. And Puppet Show. <laughs> and Puppet Show. Right. Now, the and Kitty and Witch and the involved. Blues Coalition, that yeah, existed. But Shelby, you add the Puppet the Show. Shelby made me take the Puppet do. Show off of it. So that's, <laughs> awesome. that's awesome. That's too bad. <laughs> That's great. Well, couldn't you make like those little individual finger puppets that like face outwards so that while you're playing they're dancing? That would be cool. Then you could put the puppet show back in. <laughs> I've got some of those actually little finger puppets. Yeah, just and they'll be like dancing down the neck of your guitar. Paint like a little 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 meadow or something with some sunshine, like some Teletubbies on the back. Oh my god. Uh-huh. You know that is that sounds marketable. <laughs> I never thought of that before. <laughs> See, that's why we brought you here. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's why call me crazy. That would I'd, be awesome I'd because you, you could get all sorts of... Shit, you could even start, get a little video camera and film. Yeah. <laughs> 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 little finger puppet. Oh no, Bobby stubbed his toe. <laughs> 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 Priceless. <laughs> Well, kids, what are we gonna do here? Uh, you remember that one we called Tulsa Song? It's perfect. (laughs) (laughs) This song is one that's uh, for sale on the album Twelve Long, and it's called "The World Keeps Moving On," and it's it's kind of a neat song because it's really, I mean, this is really just kind of how it went down. I I have to say one thing about that album. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed that the chicka chicka is gone. <laughs> well, I know, but I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm disappointed at the spelling and grammar on the album cover. 
<laughs> yes. yes. Any other disappointments when we can just get this out there? <laughs> Should I get a full box out? <laughs> and everybody can just anonymously write down their complaints. <laughs> no, otherwise, it's, otherwise, it's perfect and beautiful. Only the chicka chicka. The chicka chicka. The chicka chicka made that song. And, great. and you had nothing <laughs> to do with one, this. That was on Redneck Grammar. Girls, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I guess I didn't even really notice that was gone. <gasps> it's okay. I know. But anyways, this song is about the town of Tulsa. <laughs> Tulsa. It's kind of a little bit of a tough town for the music industry, I have to kind of say. I, I thought, God, if Nashville's anything like that, I don't want to go there anytime soon. Because <laughs> it was, it was brutally rebuffing at points. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Here at Tulsa on the front porch of a mom's Been working all weekend Just trying to sail my songs The rain keeps falling on the tin roof over my head And today it was 4 p.m. Before I got out of bed But I'm living on Tulsa time Gonna have another glass of wine Sit around and wonder Why I couldn't be Another okay From the sky game Gonna try my best to just keep keeping on No matter without me, this world keeps moving on Well, I can drive myself crazy, I doing just what I do and it takes those around me to make my heart be true my man says he misses me and that i'm just wild and free but i miss my funny farm wanna be back in baby's arms but I'm living no Tulsa time Gonna have another glass of wine Sitting around and wonder Why I couldn't be Another okay From the sky again Gonna try my best To just keep keeping on no one without me, this world keeps moving on. Play that a little, guys. Just keep keeping on No matter without me This world keeps moving on You know in that without me This world keeps moving on
Look at that. <laughs> We're getting grounded. <laughs> We're getting grounded. That's awesome. We're getting grounded. Grounded. Well, where, where does where does uh, where does that song come from? What's some of the? I literally wrote that song in uh, Mom's front porch in Tulsa with the tin roof and the rain coming down, and I was just ready to cry, and I just said, "Piss on it! I'm just gonna get drunk instead." Because, <laughs> and my boyfriend was seriously answer. pissed at me. Fantastic. Yeah, because I mean, you know, every time you go, you're just like brutally rebuffed. It's like, no, 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 you pay us, and then we'll let you play. And it's like, man. What about this? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call you. Don't call us. We'll call you. And you know, it's like after about fifty of those, I was thinking, Ugh, where's the wine? Where's the beer? Where's some alcoholic beverages? You know. And then you know, the guy I was dating just kind of like chewed my butt, and he's like, "Well, you sound like you're drunk. You're just up there partying." And it's like, if you have any idea <laughs> what a pin cushion I feel like, like what a pinata I feel like right now. Thank you very much. There was candy inside you. I wish <laughs> I thought there was, but nobody was buying it. It, oh, it was called you. a song, and nobody wanted it. There was candy inside of me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you, you're the only one that would. <laughs> I mean, I'm the only one that thinks a lot of things that <laughs> I think. <laughs> but that's why we like her so much. Yes. See, she keeps things sparky. She's quite entertaining. Now I know why Gordy keeps her around. Well, yeah, <laughs> cute, you know, cute and funny. She's cute and quirky. Yeah. Little, little, and little that time's dumb. a major pain in the ass. <laughs> That's only from a husband's point of view, okay? <laughs> Honey, you said you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do this. We're going to take a, a quick time out here. When we come back, uh, I want, I, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but at some point, I'd like to have a combination of all, all the groups in the room, but no one's practiced. And well, I don't want anybody screwing anybody over so well, i don't know how that's what would make it a magical <laughs> moment <laughs> i don't know what'll happen there it's I mean, if we, we just like 90 of your stuff and, yeah so it'll probably be better do one of your tunes or a completely unrelated cover tune hey that's allowed too <laughs> that was what i was kind of wondering maybe a little cover tune action if we could maybe Heck yeah. whittle one of them out of the woodwork not really, sweet child of mine. We could do that. But anyway, let him go to his okay. commercial. We're going to do this. Yeah. We're going we're to play a break. When we come back, we've got more. So they stay tuned to hear. Jiggy Jag, water be exact. The hottest internet radio show on the map. Hold on to your seats, it might get scary. Shout out to Big Ross and the homie Ninja Larry. It's a comical grab bag, you never know what you get. Everything from rappers, street fighters, and misfits. The show is not stage, man, it's as real as it gets. He's even had porn stars slashing tits and beers clips. All of this and more shit, you might catch your moms on an episode of JiggyJagwar.com. Jiggy. Jiggy Jiggy Jaguar dot com. Jiggy Jiggy Jaguar dot com. Jiggy Jiggy Jaguar dot com. www Jiggy Jaguar dot com. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Keeley Kendall Designs. That's KKD. Creates and champions jewelry that makes you want to get up, get dressed, and go out. Hit the town or hang at the beach. KKD accessories are as in tune with your sophisticated side as they are with your favorite casual, cool, laid-back looks. Keely Kendall Designs is all about having fun, being who you are, and feeling gorgeous, cool, funky, and modern. Express yourself in KKD. Check it out today. KeelyKendall.com. That's K E E L E Y K E N D A L L dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Check out one of our quality marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Vaporator.com. That's the website you're going to need to write down. We'll spell it for you V A P O U R A T O R dot com. The Vaporator. It's an amazing, amazing website from the United Kingdom. Vaporator.com. Supplying great quality e-cigarette starter kits and e-liquids to the United States and the rest of the world. You will not be disappointed with our e-cigarette starter kits. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Vaporator or Twitter.com slash Vaporator. Many thanks to all of you for checking out Vaporator.com. That's V A P. 
P-O-U-R-A-T-O-R.com. It's Vaporator.com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. I'm telling you, Walter B. Biondi. Dot com. Check it out today. It's W-A-L-T-E-R-B-B-I-O-N-D-I dot com. Synopsis from which to prepare. You need to check this out today. The Promiscuous Puppeteer is a multifaceted story about a secret gold exploration company funded by a syndicate comprised of some of the largest mining companies in North America and a CEO who is approached by a Mexican Native American woman whose skills from a sordid and seedy past had the potential to help launch the world's largest gold discovery onto the international stage. Chinese intelligence and embassy officers, U.S. politicians, unscrupulous industry leaders, and a fledgling but growing and menacing Native American mafia are all primary constituents of a compelling and momentous drama that takes place throughout the western part of the United States. It all begins at 5,000 foot high remote desert location called Tonopa, Nevada. It's an amazing book. Check out the publisher and uh, WalterBiondi.com. Find him on Twitter at Twitter.com slash W-A-L-T-B-I-O-N-D-I. An amazing piece of business. Check it out today. In addition, you might want to check out the fact that BWD, number one variety magazine, just selected author Walter B. Biondi and his book, The Promiscuous Puppeteer, as their author book of the month for the October 5th issue. Given this selection is number one out of an average of over 116,000 new books published each month, the author is grateful for, proud of, and honored by BWD's special noteworthy recognition, The Promiscuous Puppeteer by Walter B. Biondi is published by Tate Publishing, LLC. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmission. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a Ninja Pillow in their house. Visit NinjaPillow.com. And we'll spell it for you. N-I-N-J-A-P-I-L-L-O-W.com. Or search Kickstarter.com for Ninja Pillow. And that's K-I-C-K-S-T-A-R-T-E-R.com. Order your Ninja Pillow today. Pledges start at just a dollar to support. And awesome Ninja Pillow rewards are available. It's Kickstarter.com. Search Ninja Pillow or go to NinjaPillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Oh, we have a fantastic opportunity for you. But before, trying to encourage you to join us, we, we would like to offer you a portion of our product for free. It is yours to use for as long as you want. It can be used absolutely as a standalone program. You will not have any obligation to upgrade. It is yours to use and give away to family and friends. In case of emergency, the APP will connect you with your family at the touch of a button. You can get help when you need it from the most, from your circle of family and friends that have agreed to be there for you. They will receive a text message, a voice message, and an email with your exact location within seconds of pressing the button. Here's how to get it. If you have an Android phone, you can download it in Google Play Store or the App Store. The iPhone version will be available soon. The app is called 247 Help Alert. That's right, 247 Help Alert. Please use the referral ID number 1651 when you register the app. We are also seeking marketing directors. Visit us at AmazingMobileServices.info. That's AmazingMobileServices.info. Let's give you the details one more time. If you have an Android phone, you can download it in Google Play Store or the App Store. The iPhone version is going to be available very soon. The app is called 24-7 Help Alert. Please use the referral ID number 1651 when you register the app. We're also seeking marketing directors as well. Visit us at www.amazingmobileservices.info, and we'll spell it for you. A-M-A.
A Z I N G M O B I L E S E R B I C E S dot I N F O Amazing Mobile Services dot info. Let's tell you about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Mark Tufo. He's a fantastic author. Mark Tufo dot com is the website. We're going to spell it for you. M A R K T U F O dot com. Mark Tufo. He's got Zombie Fallout series. Amazing stuff. There's Zombie Fallout The End, which is volume three. Then, of course, there's Mark Tufo with Zombie Fallout for the Fallen, volume seven in the series. Amazing books. There's also Indian Hill One Encounters. Also, check out all the different Mark Tufo books at marktufo.com. A Shrouded World Whistlers is available right now. Mark Tufo co-wrote that with John O'Brien. Check out M-A-R-K-T-U-F-O dot com, marktufo dot com. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Thanks for listening to the Jiggy Jaguar Experience. Follow comedian James Davis on Twitter. At oh, I gotta get James that imaging thing. Follow Jiggy Jaguar and J I G G Y J H U R. Well, it is a fantastic, fantastic day. We've got. Uh, I'm always gonna call you Strange Night in Studio. <laughs> and uh, Emily. And uh, the the, Mr. the soccer Boris. fan over there. Oh, Adriana. Adriana. I was hoping she would jump in and say soccer again, but and then and then <laughs> we, and then we've got the puppet guy. I'm just gonna refer to you as the puppet guy oh, now because no. that whole that whole puppet show thing <laughs> that. that I think is awesome. I I think you need to you need to do the puppet deal. Like you talked about with the whole, I'm sorry, <laughs> where they're dancing down the guitar and all uh, that is awesome. Kitten witch. Kitten witch. Yes. Or you could have this. You could have like a T-shirt with a kitten on it that's got like a hat. Yeah. Oh, like a kitten already. witch. <laughs> there you go. We have one of those Facebook pages though. It's just Whoa, exactly. the Facebook kitten witch. All one word, kitten witch. And you can get there and look at it. Spelled as it is. Spelled as it is. Yes. You didn't do like W Y T C H nothing, <laughs> no. Like R E D N E X for the red Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kitten witch just says enough. You don't have to add any funky <laughs> spell into that, right? <laughs> Especially if you get the little finger puppets going. That's well, right. and then you've got the image of a cute little fussy kitty and a little witch hat. Little kitties. Just, <laughs> the little kitties. That's a hard image to get out of your head, and it goes well on Facebook. That's right. So. <laughs> It's a perfect Facebook. It's like a Facebook band. <laughs> Great. Now, Gordy, earlier you said that you had um, a couple originals or something that you wanted to do. Yeah, I can do one. Um, yeah, you do one while we figure out. Let them figure out. Yeah. Let them figure out what they're gonna do over there. <laughs> that was the microphone, not me. I swear. <laughs> Now, uh, next week, we're going to be in the great city of Wichita, Kansas, for a uh, another live broadcast. And, of course, as always, all of our live broadcasts are named after old Huey Lewis songs. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but they are. And uh, this, 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 uh, this next one is going to be a, a great show. It's going to be... It's basically... Our, our fifth live remote from Wichita, hip to be square, uh, <laughs> will be at the Polly's Productions in Wichita, Kansas, which is which is going to be uh, a great place. It's a uh, Mike Mike Game is going to be in the building. Israel um, Dayon from Wichita Nightlife and Wichita Night Out will be with us. Also, the funniest man in America, Terrence Hayes, will be in the building. Um, Lee Hightower from uh, Polly's Productions will be with us as well. It'll be live on Radio Xenu next weekend to Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. And uh, according to Facebook, it's going to be 73 degrees next sun- next Sunday. I don't know why. We're going to be inside. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Radio, RadioZenu.com. Also, we will uh, broadcast it on KJagRadio.com and live video via the Ustream. And uh, also next week, Mr. Serenade will be in the building. 
and uh, I'm hoping he does because uh, then I can have Terrence A's make fun of me, which is always a fun one. Uh, also next week, the two guys who converted my game to Mormonism will be with us. I don't know why Mike Game booked them on the show, but he's all proud of his little friends, and uh, they're going to. Uh, maybe they might try to convert me to be Mormon. A uh, Mormon? I don't know. I'd be fine with that multiple marriage thing, but uh, oh, would you? The rest of it. <laughs> there you go. How many women would you like to try and keep up with at once, there, Jigs? <laughs> I kind of assumed you were smarter than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking two or three. I think I think I could probably handle two or three. Well, that's but, funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, see, what I usually end up doing is is getting a hold of women who have multiple personalities. So it's kind of like. Well, that's a good warm up. That's a good warm up. <laughs> that's a good warm up. That's the way to roll up the red carpet. <laughs> roll up the red carpet. <laughs> for the punishment you seem to be looking for. So yeah. I, I would, I would like no, to. Right, if I, I was going to be a Mormon, I would, I would, I would marry a uh, a black chick, a Latin chick. Um, let's see who else. Um, <laughs> probably, probably somebody from, uh, probably Hawaiian. Um, I don't know. That'd be about it. Maybe Asian. So I guess I guess four. Um, but it had to be like an old school Asian chick, you know, that 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 you know was obedient or whatever. And cooks not, and not, cleans. Not, not 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 because you know I'm I'm one of those guys. I just think it would be funny because then we could Americanize her, and it would be give her some spunk. That's right. <laughs> well, we'd give her some spunk, but uh, I don't know if one, if one, if one, uh, <laughs> Kind of <laughs> yes, Different indeed. Kind of she would be a spunk monkey, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the thing is that just like, created a really bad image in my mind. <laughs> Well, you know what he's talking racist. about? He wants Asian people. He's calling them monkeys. Talking about red obedience, <laughs> obedience. <laughs> so basically, what I'm thinking, D, is when he finds this gal, he needs to let her come hang out with us for a little bit. Oh Jesus! That'll put the oh, cherry on the top God. for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> That'd be, oh my Which is far God. from where the cherry was to begin with. Yes. That's right. Yes. There's that spunk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, next week we will be in Wichita at Polly's Productions, which is of course 1119 West Douglas. And I'm hoping I can get the uh, the head guy Pip over there at Radio Zenu to uh, to make an appearance. Is he the uh, one who needs new shoes? I think so. <laughs> I think he's the one that does need new shoes. I hate it when I need new shoes. Uh, I know that, um, who was it? Oh, it was Kevin Sig one time sang a song. He created a song on the spot about Pip. They've played the hell out of it on, on Pip's uh, radio show that he does on Radio Xenu every week. And every time Kevin Sig comes back on the show, I'm like, hey, it's the guy who did the Pip song. He's like, Pip song? I don't remember doing that. And I'm like, oh. Of course you don't. So do you know that movie? <laughs> of course you don't. There's, there's that movie Earheads with Brendan Fraser and all them. <laughs> yes. Uh, Adam Sandler's name is Pip and he farts on the snare drum. Hey, look at that might day. That might be where Pip got that uh, that whole gimmick from. Gimmick infringement. He could he could be a... Uh, if he ever had a kid, it would be... Uh, this is going to open it up for, for Adriana over there. Hydejo Del Pip. Son of Pip. I think I'm getting that right. She'll she'll correct me if I uh, if I didn't get that right. She's she's too focused on the guitar over there to really pay attention to anything that anybody else They're is playing. playing. The peanuts theme. They're playing the peanuts theme. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I deal with. I'm over here playing I love it though. I just like sit back and just go into my world. <laughs> the peanuts theme. Funny though, because they're over there playing that. I'm over here playing the Flintstones and Benny Hill. <laughs> I want to hear Take Five. I think you want to squeal like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this thing, okay? And I just got to tell you this real quick. Okay, jump in. That that is so funny because we have this little contest between Bill and Adriana, and they played the Deliverance uh, squeal like a. Dueling of the banjos, there you go. And I always say, now who's going to be the first to squeal like a pig? And then you sit there and watch them sweat it out and see how long it takes them to screw up. Yeah, that's who has to squeal. 
Wow. Yeah, it's, it's quite <laughs> comical. Well, so uh, Gordy, you're gonna play one? Yes. All right. Gordy, what 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 do, what do we have, my I friend? I think I'm gonna do "She Likes It Rough." Okay. Like I said, these oh. are fairly new songs, so I'm not 100 percent sure how exactly I want to sing them, but <laughs> <laughs> still playing around with that a little. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'm ready to hear you. How long ago did you write it? Okay, cool. Fresh off the press. Here we go. <laughs> What happens when he watches Cinemax while he's writing a song? <laughs> she likes it face down too. <laughs> Goo. <laughs> now, uh, have, have we figured out the the, the cover situation? Yet? Yeah, I think we're good. I get Gordy scores for him I can there. Fake my way through this. So. <laughs> he is such. That is what I think is so awesome about this guy. He's such a talented musician. He just fake his way through. Well, that and I just gave him a sheet with all the chords on it. So. <laughs> They're completely different than the way we play it, but I can fake my way it. I don't cur. Country's your thing, so you do the first verse and I'll do the second verse. Sounds like it.
should know We don't have to live in shame Baby, why don't you stay? You keep telling me, baby, there will come a time When you leave your arms, it forever be in me But I don't think that's the truth And I don't like being used and I'm tired of It's too much pain to have to bear To love a man you have to share Why don't you stay? I'm down on my knees I'm so tired of being lonely Don't I give you what you need? When she calls you to go, there is one thing you should know. We don't have to live this way. Baby, why don't you stay? I can't take it any longer, but my will is getting stronger. And I think I know just what I have to do I can't waste another minute After all that I've put in it I've given you my best Why does she get the best of you? So next time you find You want to leave her bed for me. Miss Emma. That was, that was awesome. Hell of a job. You guys ought to be musicians. <laughs> you should, right? <laughs> I've often thought about that, but I'm like, no. No. Good about it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go on The Voice and find <laughs> out, because that's <laughs> apparently the measure of anybody's worth is that's being right. on TV. Being on TV. Oh, wait, you filmed this, right? <laughs> Well, uh, think, that, what's up? I was going to say, uh, I think we should do one more from each of us. Since do we got the time? Oh, we got time. Tick, 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 tick in my head. Well, it is four o'clock now. Can you go over? I can go over. Okay, let's go over. Ooh, time, as they say. Ooh, time. Okay, well, who, who, uh, do we have to do a coin flip or, or, or what are we? Are we no, we, the, we went uh, first last time. They go first thing? this time. Oh, we go first this time. Yeah. Okay. Keep it fair. That's awesome. Oh, I'll do backups. I can do backups for this one. I know the words. Don't know how I know them, but...
guess I used to know the words. No, that's the one where Emmy was like, I got an idea for a song, and emailed it to me, and I was like, okay, yeah. here's, some, here's some words, what do you think? She's like, okay, here's some more words, what do you think of those? And I'm like, okay. We had, we had emailed and collaborated on yes. see, I don't know if Judy knows or not, but these guys were, were coming over my house for what, like a, a year, year and a half? Recording. Recording. And recording. And just, like, just coming over, hanging out, having fun. Recording. Yeah, it was mostly <laughs> hanging out, and oh shit, we gotta get a song done, don't we? <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess we should. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there was this one, one song they were doing. They were recording uh, some backup vocals for it. Oh, you yeah, don't have, there you was don't. This one. Don't, what are you, practice. what are you gonna do? What are you? I'm why? I'm gonna say which one. <laughs> this line came out as. Stars. <laughs> And we rewinded that and put it on loop, and we all pissed ourselves for a good 10, 15 yeah, minutes. We, we, we put yeah, it on loop. Yeah. Every time they came over. Or like if, if it were real, oh, I'm getting so frustrated with this song. Hold on a second. Stars! Stars! And then that like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, sorry. I had to bring No, that, that's, that's, that, that, that's cool. So I, uh, before everything else happens, I just want to say thank you very much to Bill Royce to be here today. Yes! Yeah, Yay! Nice I love... It's, it's nice to hear some lead work in your songs. I enjoy it. It's, my, it's, it's one of my mentors too. So the next, 
next time you see a kitty witch in Kansas City, <laughs> <laughs> you must go see it. <laughs> Yeah. We'll do this one and then we'll let you wrap it up. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, since you started it with rappers, oi. Yeah. <laughs> That's yo backwards for those who don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little rain and I'm half past drunk. Coming in the door of this broken home Leaves are blowing across the floor Love don't live here no more Love don't live here no more And as I stumble away I try to drown out your face The words that we said Spinning around in my head Slowly they start to fade As I stumble away As I stumble away I can still see the marks where our memories used to hang on the wall of this broken home. Leaves are blowing down the hall. No more love here at all. No more love here at all. And as I stumble away, I try to drown out your face The words that we said Are spinning around in my head Slowly they start to fade As I stumble away As I stumble away I can still see you smile, still hear your laugh Echo like a song through this broken home We were the leaves all along, falling off till we're gone How did love go so wrong? And as I stumble away Trying to drown out your face The words that were said Are spinning around in my head Slowly they start to fade As I stumble away As I stumble away I stumble away Awesome. Yay. I had to take off the headphones because it was messing me up being able to hear myself. <laughs> I've heard that before. I'm just an older woman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Well, and I, I thanks for going over. This has been fantastic. <laughs> I've I've enjoyed this a lot, and I'm glad that uh, you guys brought yeah. your uh, uh, your Emma bill. Lou brought uh, your 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 kitten guy, the special you, guest you, here. You brought your bill. Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, the kitten guy. Mr. Bill, the kitten guy. The kitten puppet. Right, so puppet. They puppet. Got, they got Emma Lou Rednecks on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Kitten Witch on Facebook. Uh, you can get Strange Night on Facebook. Uh, 
And we have a Strange Night Band on Navigator Quinones on Facebook. Yes. Um, what was Farrell? Farrell Sinis. Fallon. No, Fallon Sinis. Fallon Sinis. Fallon Sinis. It's very, very Roman. <laughs> it, it, it reminds me of like an emperor. Well, I am full on. And of course, I'm going to point out that the rednecks on the Facebook yeah. is R-E-D-N-E-X. I just want to clarify that. I love that. Because schools in the Midwest are not that good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, I think that part comes from Kentucky school. Oh, okay. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> that's the Kentucky that side of the coin. Class. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, so we'll definitely have to do this again at some point. Thanks for going over. And uh, join us next week. We'll be at Polly's Productions, 1119 West Douglas in the great city of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, Mike Game and Terrence Hayes, Funniest Man in America, and the rest of all the craziness. Uh, Plus, we're going to have these two guys on who apparently... Converted Mike Game from atheism to Mormonism, which is a hell of a deal. And uh, we'll talk to them next week and see what kind of shenanigans they're going to get into. Uh, and uh, that's it. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening. It's the world famous Jiggy Jaguar experience. Jiggy Jaguar.